the agricultural situation around the world, right as it is now, um, is going in two directions. One direction is going towards um, even greater use of technology, particularly genetic technology and um, also the use of more advanced um, pesticides, herbicides and other technologies which are more targeted and, and in some ways more efficient but still systems that rely heavily on, uh, on an industry, a big very scientific industry behind it um, that's very profit centred um, perhaps at the det detriment of the producer. And then there's the other industry which is growing um, and getting bigger and bigger and that's the ecological agricultural industry. We still we still look at what the other side is doing um, and we still participate with people in that side. Um, but we see that uh, we'll back nature because nature has been what's got us to this point, not technology. And so we've chosen to work with nature, not, not with the sort of novel and unproven and in some cases quite dangerous technologies that otherwise exist. So the Regrarians platform I developed in about 2012, it's based on P.A. Yeoman's, uh, the great key line in, uh, de uh, designer, um, his key line scale of permanence, which was developed in the 1950s. We took his platform, which, um, which is eight parts, and added two more parts. So we have climate, uh, then we have geography, water, access, uh, forestry, buildings, fencing, soils, economy and energy. So Yeoman's platform um, stopped at soils and Yeoman's platform was not what I would call holistic um, in that his platform was mainly about things agricultural. Ours also looks at the, so at the social and economic domains of, of, um, of uh, agricultural production systems and living. So we use this as a platform to design all of our properties. So it, it is the actual process. So we start with the climate of the place and the climate of the client. We look at the landscape in the geography and where the property is situated and how it interacts with other properties and um, populations. Then we look at the water, water design and the water layer and the access layer and so forth. And then we get to the economy. How are we going to interact with the economy around us? How are we going to make the economy of the enterprise more effective and productive? And then how are we going to meet the energy demands of today, but also the energy demands of the future and make the best use of sunlight as it hits plants and as it hits our solar panels and, um, and so on. Thirteen parts are ten-day workshops, which we call the Rex, which is the Regrarian's ten-day open uh, farm planning training. Um, we've reduced that down, so Regrarian's ten um, or X. Each element of that is a day in the workshop. So, and the workshops are, or the Rex uh, seminars are on a particular farm that is a real farm with a real client. And so this is a real consultancy. Every day the participants and myself and the client go through um, a, an element of our platform. So on day one we just concentrate completely on the climate of the place and the climate of the client. So we work out what their objectives are, what their financial objectives are, their, their goals for the future, what, what makes them happy, etc. And then on day two, we look at all of the maps of the property because we're working on the geography um, layer. And so we get all of that together and where the place is situated, what are all the proximate populations doing, etc. So we analyse the geography of the place and the region. Then we do the water layer and with the water layer we talk about the water layer and we look at what's already here and then what opportunities are there to put in. You know, Do we need to put ponds in or pipes in or wells or whatever else is going on and where are they going to be? And at that stage all of the participants 
um, generate a design and then they present that design at the end of the day and so do I. I, I do a design every day and we, f we then generate feedback with each other on what are the best best aspects of each plan and then we do the same with access the next day and so on. So we build up a building layer, a forestry layer, a fencing layer, a soils layer, an economy layer. We talk about how we're going to energize the economy of this particular um, enterprise. After 10 days everyone has a really clear understanding of a design process that we follow and we found to be quite successful but the client, the host of the program, um, also gets a really comprehensive plan. It's a pretty exciting opportunity and we're really looking forward to delivering one here in France and um, in other parts of the world too. The REX is designed to be a professional development course. Um, it's designed for people who are professional land managers and for people who work on land and with land. It's a serious professional development course. So we expect that people who, um, who've perhaps done a permaculture course before, a longer permaculture course, or people who are farmers, landscape architects, engineers, all of those sorts of people who are looking to take their work to another level or put into their toolkit another process for uh, designing and managing land would come along. Many and varied. Um, one of the first things which is really clear as an outcome is a process. Uh, you know, design ultimately is best achieved by following a logical program and a logical process. There's a starting point and there's an end point and so that's something that we try to reflect on. Um, but also how to help create very integrated and resilient farm enterprises and ancillary enterprises, how to market your products better and, and so on. 